Uh, we have some breaking news now here that the Fed Vice Chairman Stanley Fisher is resigning. That is effective uh, in mid-October here again. Stanley Fisher resigning effective mid-October. That news just coming out in the past few moments. October 13th to be specific. It looks like that is the effective date here. And I have with me here uh, Michael McKee back here covering everything from hurricane to a hurricane at the Fed, so to speak, uh, in today's session. And uh, Marty Schenker is here with us as well. Mike, what? This is what? a major storm, and it is very unexpected. Stanley Fisher uh, has been at the Fed since 2014. His term expires in June of 2018, and it was widely expected that he might not be reappointed or that he might want to retire. But he was expected to be sort of the person who helped lead the Fed through a transition from Janet Yellen to a new Fed chair, should Donald Trump make that decision to replace uh, Janet Yellen. And now he appears to be leaving. He doesn't give a reason in his letter of resignation that went to the president today. He says uh, that it just had been a privilege to serve on the Federal Reserve Board and to work with Janet Yellen. So no reason given for why he wants to retire. He's obviously been in this business a very long time, served as the governor of the Bank of Israel and uh, professor at MIT for many years. So uh, quite a shock for the Federal Reserve System and for uh, investors and traders around the world. Yeah, for Janet Yellen herself, who apparently also uh, commenting here, saying that Fisher has been invaluable to policy deliberations. Uh, so, Marty, what are the implications of this? Because he has been seen, obviously, besides Janet Yellen, as the most important figure uh, on the FOMC. Well, from a political standpoint, Donald Trump now has another position he right. has to fill. Uh, and as has been widely reported, this administration has been somewhat slow in filling critical vacancies throughout the government. Now he has one at the Fed. And uh, the speculation w uh, about Janet Yellen and Gary Cohn's potential to be named to that post will now become front and center. They're going to need to find a replacement for uh, Mr. Fisher, who was a very well-respected and moderating influence on the Fed.